ABC, start here. It's wipeout time again. Nothing like the misfortune of others to make you feel better about your own life. Ah, uh, wipeout really is chicken soup for the soul. In round one, there are five obstacles. All unique and challenging, not to mention hilarious and amusing. The dirty balls are a series of balls that are, well, dirty. Each player must jump across them trying to keep out of the mud. Dirty balls, dirty contestants, let's get this mud slinging started. The breakaway planks are another series of horizontal beams suspended above water. Some are fixed, but others are not, sending our contestants down into the drink. Unless they're really fast and can make it across in time. Here we go. Wipeout's infamous big balls consist of four monstrous red balls mounted in a large tank of water. Scurry across these inflated behemoths to the platform on the other side and you're home free. The fence flapper consists of a series of vertical panels that flip up as a player moves past them. Once again, quickness is an asset. Sense of humor or personality, eh, not so much. The rug pull is a wide beam suspended over water with two rugs stretched across it. Step on a rug and it's suddenly pulled one way or the other. And for our contestants, this little carpet ride will be anything but magic. Say hello to Cannonball, a man who dreams of opening a resort for pets. Uh, maybe a little bit too much catnip.
is looking like a pro out there. Next up is Knockout, who dreams of hiring an Olympic trainer that she can knock the stuffing out of. Painful to watch. Meet Valley Girl, who, like, would rather be shopping. Not what she was hoping for. Meet Most Likely to Succeed, a man who dreams of opening an online fitness studio. Sounds pretty worldwide weird. You thought this was gonna be boring. Never a dull moment for the two Johns, I guess. Oh, and he looks so confident, too. If you can't smile at... Breakaway Planks, an accurate name indeed. Well done so far, John. You sound disappointed. Uh, smack it on the way. I think I speak for all. The big balls have met their match. The big balls have met their match. <laughs> Big balls, large balls. Nice run. The big balls have met their match. The fence, she does match. Contestants. I think I speak to He wasn't ready for the fence flapper there. That pull was a bit of a surprise. He went down. The rug pull takes no prisoners. The rug pull could not take him down. The rug pull takes no prisoners. was pulled and she went flying.
victory. Let's see how it does it, In round two, everybody faces the dreaded sweeper. Yeah, bad for them, good for us. We call this one the cheese sweeper, folks. Yeah, and we call it that because it's a sweeper with cheese. Our level of clever really amazes me. The cheese sweeper takes no prisoners. Good. Can you imagine being left in a cell with a hunk of cheese? Nice wipeout. Nice for us. Contestant, not as much, really. You thought this was gonna be boring. Never a dull moment for the two Johns, I guess. Ding! The clock just hit midnight on this Cinderella tale. I love that story. He'll be able to open that amusement park case. In round three, it's a free for all. Yeah, just like my family reunions. The bullseye buoys are floating targets that each contestant must jump to and balance on. Miss the target, and you are teetering off the edge and into the water below. In the keyhole spinner, each contestant climbs onto a large spinning cone and through a small gate in the center. Then they descend down the other side, trying to reach the far platform without falling into the drain. Girl is riding a wave. The wait is over. We finally reached the wipeout zone. And a big bag of cash awaits the winner. The first obstacle in the wipeout zone is the catapult. Not much strategy here, folks. Just sit back and enjoy the flight. It's non-stop with plenty of in-flight entertainment, at least for us. Then the barrel run, where the contestant gets onto the water and runs up a ramp. Of course, red barrels will be flying down that ramp. Of course they will. The player must hurdle each one of those barrels until they reach the top. The Gears of Doom consist of three large padded gears that rotate automatically. Our contestants must jump from one to the other, timing each leap to avoid a big honkin' wipeout. The Scary Go Round is a rotating, sweeper-style challenge consisting of a platform and two arms. In this obstacle, the player must jump onto the platform and race to the middle without being knocked into the water by the sweeping arms. The Piston Punch and Blades of Fury are both obstacles consisting Wow, that was a nice start. He made a great time on the barrel run. And now we'll see if he can stay on track. Hey, 
distance. He's got to recover if he's going to have a chance. Well, you got to love the way they handled the barrel run. You never want to get cocky. A lot of obstacles left. Mr. Big Shot takes a big fall. The Gears of Doom couldn't take him down. Never had a chance on the Gears of Doom there, Johnny. Well, maybe if she wouldn't have started. Well, maybe if she wouldn't have started. Gears of Doom indeed. Ding! The clock just hit midnight on this Cinderella tale. I love that story. just couldn't overcome the sweep arms, John. Oh, that's not... The scary-go-round is one carousel that is not fun. I just couldn't get past the scary go round. That thing scares me from here. <laughs> oh, and the scary go round scared off any chance of success there. Yeah, she's going to have to make up for lost time now.
to launch or not to launch? That is the question. In his case, the answer is not. She fails to launch and finds herself in the old H2O. She had a plan. Unfortunately, that plan was chock full of holes and a big old wipeout. Cannonball proving that even the oddest among us can still prevail on Wipeout. Now I can open that pet amusement park he's always dreamed of. Those dogs, cats, and fish have no idea what's in store. I would pay to see that, John. Another fantastic game of Wipeout comes to an end. For John Anderson and Joe Wagner, this is John Henson. I'll see you next time.